I'm making this video because I want to tell you about a free workshop that we're having. If you're watching this live, we're having a free group session slash workshop Friday, January 19th at 4 p.m. Eastern. Friday, January 19th at 4 p.m. Eastern. I want to remind people about that, um, that they can join us for it. So I'm making the video for that reason, but I'm also making that video for all of these other people who are wondering, why can't I get these darn manifestation ideas to work a little bit better in my life? What technique will actually work for me? What method will actually work for me? Well, if you're familiar with this channel and my general advice, you know that I think personally for most people, if not everybody, there's not one technique that always works. One method that always works. People are different. You're different. A method or, or technique that uh, worked for you five years ago might not work for you today, for instance. And there's so many different uh, techniques, obviously, and, and methods to, you know, quote unquote, manifest different things in your life, you know, shift your reality, right? So one technique or method is not going to do it. At least, at least if we're being at all specific, like visualization. Visualization is not going to work for everybody. SATs is not going to work for everybody. I, I've spoken to literally, I think, three people this week who were wondering about why SATs were not working for them. And I just said, it's because SATs doesn't work for a lot of people. It's not like that. These manifesting ideas are not like that. We have to be flexible and figure out what works for us. This is something we're going to discuss in the in the group coaching workshop tomorrow. We're going to get to these, these fundamental underlying points. And the big fundamental underlying point that has always helped me and helped many other people that I've, you know, uh, worked with individually and also helped a lot of readers of my books and guides over the years, one of the bigger points, which we can call a method, I guess we could call the technique, but that's not really accurate. We call the general method, a general recommendation that I find does actually work for almost everybody. And it's not specific at all. It's very general. That's why it generally works for most people is to feel more relaxed. And we're going to cover that tomorrow. More about that. And if you're familiar with my stuff, you know, we always are talking about that. But it's easy to kind of pass over this idea um, that is, in my opinion, so fundamental to, to these manifesting concepts. Neville, for instance, always talked about relaxation. He always talked about it. He just wasn't always overt in speaking about it. But he, he basically always said you, that, you know, you have to attain a level of relaxation about this. H. Emily Cady, she's got that great phrase I always mention, trustful passivity. That, you know, she was touching upon the same thing. The great hypnotists, law of attraction teachers, Emile Coué, and then Charles Baudouin writing about Coué and, and the auto-suggestion method. They're talking about how when you're hypnotized or self-hypnotized, as they would say, because you're hypnotizing yourself, how you're in a state of relaxation, obviously. And your subconscious then is very... Uh, willing to accept suggestion the power of your subconscious mind by joseph murphy he talks time and time again in that book about relaxing and then suggesting things to yourself whether through visualization or affirmation or what have you relaxation is a fundamental part of this process and it's not a technique it's just a fundamental part of it in my opinion it's a general method um, that we should be aware of and utilize. So that's really um, important to, to, to be aware of. If you don't have what you want, that's very understandable on an external level. 
do you want to manifest a lot more money or you want to manifest an SP or you want to manifest better health and it's not there or not there yet. Okay, you can acknowledge that. That's fine. But what's not fine is not feeling okay about it, generally speaking. Even if the external manifestation has not occurred for you, and perhaps it never will occur for you in the way you want, quite frankly, you still can find the peace of mind, the inward sense of relaxation, the inward sense of fulfillment that your external manifestation would give you by practicing being more relaxed and becoming more relaxed more often. And if you do that, if you practice being more relaxed inwardly and make it more of a a choice, your default choice as you go about your daily life, chances are those external manifestations, more money, a romantic partner, better health, chances are better that those external manifestations will come into your life if you feel more relaxed in general inwardly. Here's the thing. It's not easy to feel inwardly relaxed all the time by any means. I can tell you right now, if you are able to easily feel inwardly relaxed or are able to get get to a place where you often feel relaxed and you know about these principles and you have good expectations and suggestions of what you want externally coming into your life, if you're able to do that, and to be at that place where you're inwardly, inwardly, in man, the cold is making it hard for me to pronounce inwardly today. If you're able to get to a place where you're inwardly relaxed a lot of the time and you feel expectant of what you want in your life externally to happen and you're willing to take the appropriate actions to make it happen, very good chance that they will happen. But it's not easy to be inwardly relaxed when we're trying to manifest an SP and the SP is nowhere to be seen or the money that we want is nowhere to be seen or the improvement in health is nowhere to be seen or the change of uh, jobs is nowhere to be seen or you know all these other things that we might want to manifest externally. Not always easy to feel inwardly relaxed about stuff, life in general, and expectant of outward positive change when the outward positive change is nowhere to be seen. That's the work. That's the deep work. That's what I like working with clients on. None of these fancy schmancy techniques. I know a lot of fancy schmancy techniques. If you watch this channel, if you listen to my podcast, you know, it should be clear that I you know, I'm pretty well versed in various techniques. But the techniques, the specific techniques hardly matter compared to this overly, an overwhelming, you know, uh, point that not enough people recognize, which is that it's very important to feel inwardly relaxed in order to have this stuff work better in your life. If you're inwardly relaxed and expectant of positive change, chances are you're going to get positive external change. And even if you don't, you'll be more inwardly relaxed. So we're going to cover all this uh, in the workshop. Again, the group coaching workshop session. I'm having so much trouble speaking this morning. The, gr- the group session is going to be Friday, January 19th, 4 p.m. Eastern. If you want the Zoom info for it and you don't already have it, you can email me at info at radicalcounselor.com. Info at radicalcounselor.com. And I also want to quickly mention, if you haven't listened to it yet, the new edition, the new episode of my podcast uh, has finally been released. I haven't done a podcast episode for a couple months. I just released a new episode this week linking the teachings of Neville with the teachings of Byron Katie. So if, uh, if you want to listen to that episode, I think it will be helpful for many of you. You can find that wherever you listen to podcasts or I will link to the YouTube Um, version of it above. All right. Hope to see you at the uh, group coaching workshop session on Friday. Enjoy.